Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow's down 183. Nasdaq's off 140. S&P's are off 28. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. Now, don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, the way you get the opening call, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You go right under newsletters. As you pull it up, you're going to see it right on the right-hand side, the opening call by our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. You hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $128. Six months for $595, which is a savings of $173. A year for $995, which is a savings of $541. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. Nothing to lose, everything to gain. Check it out right on the uh, TFNN, right under newsletters. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing there? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Good. So. Yeah. Uh, so, hey, hey, first off, right, I know, uh, has summer come into Boston yet? We had two beautiful days, Saturday and Sunday. Oh, good. Yesterday, yesterday was not bad, but today it's raining again. I don't know. Okay. A lot of rain this year. A lot of rain. Okay, you'll have a lot of grass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> the grass for the Newport tennis course is fine, but not, oh, not that's anywhere pretty. else. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so I'm looking, looking at, at your charts up here. So just to review what we were looking at uh, when I did my webinar uh, two weeks ago, uh, it was called the tide and I was discussing how if you can identify the larger trends uh, using technical tools and I went through the different technical tools can really be a big help. So I discussed that we were short the Dow from the day before the, the last high of April the 23rd at 26,695. We were short from just below that. And on the way down, we took profits, and then we switched to long on June the 3rd, the day of the low. And we remain long. And what's interesting is, let me, if I can just show this chart right here. In the Chapman Wave, we're looking for the lowest low bar. And the simple system is that we count each higher peak. We alphabetize them. And when you get to the fourth highest peak, peak D, other things can happen. You can go higher to E, F, and G, but D is really the core of the, the waveform because it's at that point you can use other techniques. And then simply put, I like to look for arches and cups, and sometimes you can get a combination. I made that red because when the left side low is taken out, that's negative. When the right side's taken out or going up, that's positive. So simply put, that's what we look for, just three basic waveforms, straight line up or down, and the arch or the... Um, or the cup formation. So you can see this is there's the arch, and now it's a very large cup formation. We went above the high of 26,695, the high of the 23rd. The high three days ago was 26,907. One of the reasons why we are still long is that I just I just discussed with you that in the Chapman Wave methodology, if you get an identifiable low bar that becomes a, a buy signal and then actually goes to a buy mode because the technicals in this case on the left side chart the daily chart the magd is still very strong and the stochastic is over 80 percent especially at 90 percent or higher and it's at 90 percent you can anticipate that there's a really good chance you will still go to a c and a d it doesn't feel that way right okay. now because the dow is down 180 and the s p is down 24 but the S&P also has a peak B. So my suspicion is that we are going to go high. If I use my Chapman Wave uh, automated, uh, re re these are resistance and um, support lines, you can see right here, there's a whole bunch of highs that were made. These are automated, they generated uh, using different techniques. And you can see the one here is at 27,160. So I'm, the way I'm looking at the market right now, based on this leg D in the weekly chart, is that we have some upside. It's, at this point, I don't think it's going to break much above 27,000 if we get there. And that says we could go to a C, just a nominal C, maybe pull back and go to a D. And then I, I've got to start looking at this as a trend line resistance. I call it the repellent zone. You can see it here in the monthly chart, which, which says that there's a chance that we're going to have a little deeper pullback in time and price. But my monthly chart is still very positive and it's pointing to a break above that all time high of 26,951 uh, probably this summer. And so I still remain uh, very bullish. 
But on a short-term uh, situation, even though we are bullish, we're starting to lighten up and get some cash positions. We still have some nice uh, longs. You know, I spoke to you about the uh, the DB, DBA, which is the uh, this is the DB Agricultural Fund, which we've been long from about fifteen dollars and eighty-seven cents. That's gone to a D. So that has wheat, corn, soybeans. And they've been holding very nicely here. So I'm looking at this, and I'm going, I'm looking to see how this 200-period moving average at this peak D at 16.91, uh, 16 uh, if we're going to retest that, break above it, or it's going to become a repellent zone because it has achieved what I wanted was that D. But the weekly chart is starting to improve, and that's if you can hand off from a daily to a weekly chart, all of a sudden you've got something longer term. So I'm going step by step in that situation. And uh, I had spoken to you also about um, stock that we had bought. I used it as an example just before my webinar. I did it live on air actually to demonstrate that we have um, a particular Chapman wave formation and we went along this stock, which is Prologis. It's a REIT in the industrial area yes. at 75 and it's trading right now at 80.54. It's also made, it, this has made a peak C at 82.82. So that's a very nice uh, percentage gain in a short period of time. But I'm anticipating that it goes to a leg D. That's using, you know, Chapman Wave methodology. These are the things we look for. And here's just like the Dow has gone to the weekly chart leg D. So this is in leg D. So a lot of this says to me, getting a little bit uh, toppy, we've got to be somewhat careful uh, coming into the end of the week, maybe the beginning of next week, just before the holidays. We'll see. And, you know, the dollar, you spoke about gold, of course, gold has had a spectacular move. The dollar right now uh, is in a daily sell mode and a weekly sell mode, but it's just coming to an area around the 96 area where that's key. It's very important in the monthly chart. And we've been long since April of 2018 at 90. So it's had a very nice run. But I, I, I think in the end, the dollar is going to hold well and we should see a leg D in the monthly chart. So um, how that impacts, I think in a way, dollar and gold are, are still a little bit separate. I, I mean, this is my interpretation. You, you're the expert, but I think gold is still more the, the fear trade, which is one of the reasons why it's outperforming silver. And that's why the dollar, actually, when you look at the dollar, it's held very well concerning what gold has done. So we'll see how long that's going to last. Yeah, listen, it's, it's going to be intriguing, man, just watching this whole thing shake out. I mean, I'm looking for a little bounce in the dollar with light volume and then, you know, the next leg down. So Yeah, I, I think dollar's still in a consolidation question. That's no question for me. But look, talking about that peak D, look, yes, peak D in, at 103.82 in January of 2017. And I thought I'd show this. Uh, where was it? Now, you were talking about it a, a little short while ago. Was it the TLT? Yes, the TLT. No, it was the TNX. You spoke about the uh, tenure. Now, look at this on a monthly basis. That dollar did a peak D, and look at the sharp pullback it had. And look at the TLT. And this is, the, sorry, the TNT, with TNX, which is the tenure. Right. Went right to the monthly 200 period moving average of 32.48. And look at that sharp pullback. So those Ds are pretty powerful. Big time. And folks, the way you get the newsletter, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right under newsletters. As you go into the newsletters, you're going to see the opening call. But I'm Mr. Basil Chapman. You hit subscribe, and you are off to the races. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.